So when you hear about this storm today, two words that you might hear, you probably have seen it on social media, bomb cyclone and bombogenesis. So we thought we'd take a second and explain what this means. First of all, this is not a new term. It's kind of like when that polar vortex took over the news a few years ago. Yeah, it just kind of exploded in the headlines. Everyone freaked out. It's not new, but it's just gaining a lot of attention because of the name. So here's the exact definition, bombogenesis. It's a surface cyclone, so a big storm, with a central pressure that falls quickly. We're talking really quickly. 24 millibars in 24 hours. Here's a look at the storm you can see traveling up the east coast right now. You're taking a look at the water vapor imagery, so it's kind of a cool shot to show you just how much moisture is associated with parts of this storm. This storm is essentially an extra intense nor'easter. So the big question is, how does it get so intense? It actually all comes back to this extreme cold that we've been seeing. Take a look at Niagara Falls. Bitterly cold. It's freezing in spots. It's just incredible. And all that mist is actually freezing on the trees around it. So we've seen this cold sinking all the way down to Florida. This is Florida. Do you see that video? All the ice and the snow, if you can believe it, that has been Florida. It's so rare. We don't see that very often. And what happens is when we get that cold air that lines up along the coast, it's on the, the air or the land, and then over the ocean, we've got warmer water. And that is what storms love. That temperature gradient, that extreme gradient, it allows a storm to become so intense and rapidly intensify as it travels up the coast. So this typically only happens in the winter when we get this extreme drop in these cold temperatures all the way down to places as far south as Florida. So it's pretty cool. Matt, I know that we've been actually talking about this a little bit because bombogenesis has actually been a little bit of an inside joke in our weather center here at WCCO for the last uh, couple of years. But it's when you see things like bomb cyclone that grabs news yeah. headlines and then people grab a hold of it on social media, you worry about that misinformation. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's certainly a flashy thing. Like you said, it's not new. A lot of nor'easters start out this way exactly. with bomb Genesis and then roll up the coast, but with the extreme cold that we've got right now, I mean, 18 degrees in Charleston, South Carolina, that's when you get that crazy pressure gradient that Kylie was talking about, the difference between warm air and cold air, and it basically just acts like a big funnel. All the energy gets siphoned into the middle of that, spins up winds, and not only do you get huge snowfall totals, like they're forecasting over a foot of snow in the northeast today, but you get those winds 50 to 70 miles an hour like we typically see in a strong thunderstorm, and that's that's what can knock down power lines and cause a lot of damage. Plenty of